Welcome back guys to Super Paper Mario, where after completing our first chapter, we return back to Flipside and head into Merlon's house to see what's up next. Hello Merlon sir! So, how was it dear friends? Did you find a pure heart? Yeah. Ho ho! Such pure brilliance! This is a true piece of the one true purity heart! Yes, we have Merlumina! She gave it to us! <laughs> what? Lady Merlumina? You were well met! She is an ancestor of mine! She was a great leader and was revered as the wisest of the ancient sages! Melumina and those who followed her built this town. They are why we are here. M Master Merlon, bad news! What is it? Get a hold of yourself, lad. You, you see... Uh, Lots of them. Let me see. A girl fell out of the sky. What? A girl fell out of the sky? What in the world? I don't know, just please get in the elevator and come up there to see her! So it shall be! And you, Mario, come along! We may need your presence as well! Let's head on after them! But not, of course, before checking if there's anything secret. Always check for all the secrets! Well, you wanted to head up the lift, not straight along that way. Different lift then. Well, let's keep going and find out where on earth they are going. This lift? Or oh, further on, there's this lift indeed. What am I doing? Go straight past it. So is this a completely separate area? Of course it is, because it's where we fought. It's put our first star. Um, yeah, so I was just looking up at the tower and she fell out of nowhere. Hmm. She doesn't look at all familiar to me. Who could this be? What's the matter? Oh. Princess Peach? So this is the princess that Count Black kidnapped? Yeah. Well, the poor girl seems to have had a rough time of that, we can be sure. She doesn't appear to be conscious. She is shivering uncontrollably. What could the problem be? Ho ho, I know! Mario, you must go to the chef named Saffron on the ground floor flip side. I'm sure she knows a warming and revitalizing recipe for this poor girl. Once she revives, we'll be able to ask Princess Peach exactly what happened. Now off with you! Find Saffron the Chef on the ground floor! Sure thing! Let's head back down. Find out exactly which one is the ground floor. Is it the one with the buildings, or is there a floor even further down? Are they counted as ground or basement? Who are we to know? It'll come up in the left, though. Or the bottom, the first floor, so we need to go... Further down than this, by the looks of it. Now is there a lift further on? There is indeed. It seems we begin to get acquainted with Flipside. So exactly what house are we looking in here? Right, this is the ground floor and I assume that this is some kind of restaurant. Are you Saffron, my dear? Welcome to Sweet Smiles! Oh, sugar! Our dishes will turn that little frown right upside down! What? A friend of yours is out cold? Oh, mercy! Well, listen here, sugar. She sounds like she needs some spicy soup and some product placement. All I need is a fire burst to make a pot of soup and warm her up in a jiffy. Some stores sell fire bursts, so just check the shelves wherever you like to shop. You bring me one sugar and I'll make you some tasty spicy soup. We managed not to get one already, but there's a random DS here. A waiting data upgrade. Okay, we need a data upgrade on our DS. It's weird that it's randomly in the wall there, but still. Crazy. So we're looking for a store, so going up a floor would be good. I don't think I've picked up a fiber so far. 
Well, we do have an absolute ton of coins. We're not exactly doing too badly in terms of, oh, we can spare an item for Princess Peach's revival. What's up, sir? Hey, you here? Word is, if that homeless guy keeps getting bigger, we're through! Hilarious! Seriously, the rumors people make up. Yes, maybe you should believe that one. Hello, we need a fire burst! Good day! Good day to you indeed. We, we possibly want this thing. I'm not exactly sure which one we want, but I'm guessing we're talking to you. How's it? How are ya? Good! Lucky you, finding how's it shop here in Flipside. First time here, eh? It is indeed. I want to tell you, we offer shop points here for our regular customers. You earn shop points with every purchase, limit of one point for every purchase. Earn enough, and you win a free gift. Free stuff for free, that's good. Want to know just how many points you saved up? Just ask me. Got that? Or do you want to hear my spiel again? I got it. What you need? We need to buy some stuff, sir. Go ahead and grab the item you want. They're all good. What are they? Okay, we got... The star medal. A super shiny silver medal worth 1,000 points so we can actually get ourselves points so we can... You know, level up, essentially. And just buy ourselves level ups. But we want a fire burst, sir. That'll run you 20 coins. Sound good? It is indeed. Oh, so good! Looks like that pushed you up to one shop point. Anything else look good? No. Appreciate the business. Goodbye. Sure thing, sir. Any secrets hidden in your place? There's no secrets anywhere. With our fire burst, we can finally revive Peach. So through the process of cooking we go. Flipside looks like a big enough town as is. Can we actually flip flip fly? <laughs> flip flip side, yes we can. Right, that was a bit of a mouthful. Nothing going on though it seems. Let's just head into the building. Get cooking. I've got what you need. Oh, now there's the fire burst I need. Now let's just get started on making that spicy soup. Hand me that fire burst. Sure thing. So, Sugar, you want me to create a dish for you with a fire burst? No problem. One spicy soup coming up. Sugar! Ooh la 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 la, yum! Put it in your tum! What a lovely song. At least she isn't as grumpy as the one I walked over the contacts of. Sorry about the weight, Sugar, but it turned out just right. Sip with a flame-proof spoon. Fills 8 HP and cures poison. What about my flame-proof mouth? This ought to wake up that sleeping beauty of your sugar. Get it to it just as quick as you can. I will do. Seriously, if you have to eat something with a flame-proof spoon, how is your mouth supposed to deal? It's not a prospect I really want to discover. No sorry, Bob. Not at all. No way. Get it away from me, evil spicy devil. So far, far, far to the right. And let's revive our Princess Peach. Already safely out of enemy's hands. Well, not so safely, but still. We've got what you need, people. We're coming. Of course! Spicy soup! That'll do the trick, me things! Give Princess Peach a sip! I will do. Uh... Ho ho! It seems to have worked! Hmm, I feel like I just ate the most delicious thing! I haven't had a dream about such tasty food in ages! Oh, Mario, you okay? But where exactly are we? This is Flipside. Uh, okay. Who are you? My dear, I am called Merlon, and that is what is known as a pixel. Her name is Tippy. Come, let us adjourn to my house. I would be grateful if you would tell us more there. Yeah. And then before I knew it, I woke and saw Mario, you and Tippy. Well, my dear, that is most assuredly a tale of woe and troubles. Oh, Mario, 
What do you suppose happened to Luigi and Bowser? Hmm, I suppose you're right. There's just no way to know. There just is no way. I just hope they're safe. Hmm. Hold on, what should we do next? And one pure heart shall lead the way to the next, so it is written. There are still more pure heart pillars to be found in Flipside, young ones. When you find the next pure heart pillar, you must set a pure heart in it. I got so used to saying pure in front of heart now. And when you do so, a door to the world containing the next pure heart will appear. And my intuition tells me the next door may lead you to the mysterious Merli. Like Mysterious and I, Merli is one of the ancients. We are like long lost cousins. Yes, I heard that Merli has long guarded an ancient and secret treasure. If my instincts are correct, it may be the next pure heart we seek. I must tell you, the light prognosticus also speaks of her magical powers. So, we just need to find this Merli person, is that it? Ho ho, are you going as well? You should not tax yourself, you've only just recovered, and it may be dangerous. Well, I can't just sit here and let everyone else go off to save the world now, can I? After all, the void that is spreading in the sky is my fault. Mine and Bowser's. So I'm going. That's final. I've made my decision. Good on you. Peach has joined your party. Now you can control not just Mario, but Princess Peach as well. I guess we need to find that next hard pillar. Hmm. This princess is headstrong to be sure. How very refreshing. It is in this day and age. I insist you take this. We got ourselves an old key, a key to a door somewhere in town. There are secrets in this town that even I do not know. This may be one of the keys to uncovering them, quite literally in fact. Please, use this key wherever it fits here in town. My intuition tells me you should be able to use it very near my house. I will continue to read the light prognosticus and look for any clues that may help. I am sure that must your tone still has much to teach us. Yes, much indeed. Now, Mario, Princess Peach, do all you can to stop the Count's evil plans. Let's go, Mario. Come on, Tibby. Yeah. When playing as Princess Peach, you can use her umbrella in a few ways. Press and hold 2 while jumping to float down slowly down. We've worked that out. In addition, press down to use your umbrella to guard against enemy attacks. When you want to change your character, choose him or her on the menu screen. It's raining! And I'm floating. A key very near to the position over there. Can Peach... Ah, but Peach, however, doesn't seem to be able to have the power to flip. So while we can do the other stuff, she's not so good. She's kind of more battle and getting around for platforming a little bit easier. Not so much on the other stuff. Can't do this, and there's a signpost. All is his records. Sequential jumps 12. Sequential stylish moves 3. Brilliant, I guess, but there's a key right there. Very near, he did say, after all. It was indeed. Right. Where are we heading with this, though, however? Got ourselves another sign. Let's read it quickly before we run out of time. Flipside outskirts ahead, monster advisory. That doesn't sound too good. Let's find out what's up on here. If anything whatsoever. The interesting thing might be what was in the middle of it, but nothing whatsoever anyway. Let's check to the far left before we head over to that pathway. There's another one here, and there's no way I'm smashing that. Not the moment anyway, I don't have a hammer. Unless Faro. Nope, Faro cannot pick up any blocks whatsoever, so we're gonna need new power to check out there. At least we found it, so we can work out what exactly we're doing with it later on. Anyway, let's head through. Find ourselves what seems to be. Our pillar ahead, we can hope, but let's check this way a second. I'm wondering if there's any secrets or goodies. Because there seems to be something odd with this, at the very least. 
that has to go down, that has to go up, or something like that. Okay. Something going on there, but I can't do anything. I can't ground pound, which I'm guessing is what I have to do. Apart from that, I can head to the other side of here, but I don't think that helps me any whatsoever. Down the pipe it is. I can even land on the pipe in 3D land. Any secrets hidden? Not so far, anyway. Nothing hidden behind, either. Let's just keep going on the normal way. I couldn't jump right over to do another trick or something like that. What's going on here? Hey, hero, feeling stumped? Try flipping. It's pretty basic. You say that every time. We're supposed to go to that side. Well, first of all, ah, yet another platform we cannot get through. At least we can head to the right here. And is that a heart pillar over there? And always hope for the best. There's a sign up on top, however. I want to get to that. Huh? Huh? No problemo. What's it say? Heart pillar ahead. The best route you ask. Float across the stone tops. Really? Well, let's get to work with that. Look down for a second. Try to find where the plus button is on my. Ah, oh, I missed. Let's do this, Peach. Ready? I guess this is basically because it avoids the enemies. Well, mainly to the point it gets me up there. Don't know if I could get up there with just Mario. Another pure hard pudding it's... Well... Stationed in the right place, we'll put it that way. Hopefully a new pathway opened. Seems we get to start off chapter two very soon. Right then, let's change back to Mario, see if we can flip things around, and if there's any goodies to find. Behind the heart pillar or anywhere. Nope, can't jump down. No enemies underneath it either. You guys, move a second, I want to bump on you. We're double stylish. And we passed 50,000 points, but it wasn't enough hoping that would be our next level up. We can make it back into Flipside no problem whatsoever. I wonder what some of the other buildings have contained within them though. If there's any kind of trouble center or... Well there's enough magicians that we've met that's for sure but I'm wondering if there's any like spell that we can take for extra points. Experience, depending on how you look at it. Right a second, that's not the way I'm going. I gotta flip. Don't worry about falling, Mario. We want to go. Nicely make it over. Right, we got ourselves an inn here. Hello, my dear. What's going on? Oh, hello there. Is this your first time on the flip side? No, I have talked to you before. I'm just wondering what each building does, like this one, for example. Hello, madame. Who are you? Hee <laughs> Welcome to the Fortune Teller's Fortress! My name is Merlovely. I use the twinkling of the stars to help people find the path to happiness. If you pay just a few coins, I will tell you the path you need to follow next. One fortune will cost you precisely 20 coins. Would you hear it? No, thank you, because we know exactly where we're going. We're going upwards. Anything else hidden around though? Nope, Sir e Bob. Seems the people's houses don't contain as many secrets as they used to in the past. The inn probably doesn't contain anything either worth. And of course we got Merlon's house. Lowest so we've got more new buildings. We really should be heading up and towards our next location, our next destination. I do wonder what other kinds of secrets, what kind of side quests there may be. But into door two, chapter two shall begin. With Princess Peach at his side, 
Now you set out once again, bound for adventure. This time our heroes were tasked with finding the mysterious charmer Merli. Merlon was right, and Merli was the key to finding the next pure heart. Never one to flinch from danger, Mario set out to find Merli's mysterious mansion. But little did he know, the evil works of dastardly Count Black awaited at every turn. We begin chapter 2-1. Bogging to Merli's. Bogging? We're walking through a swamp. Let's find out our next location, our next destination. The pure heart is somewhere up ahead. Yes, it must be. But it could be a long way. Let's go. Okay, no problem. Well, we've entered the Gloom Valley. We begin our exploration of this area next episode. So, chapter two begun. I hope you join me for it tomorrow. Bye bye.